Jonathan and Steve here about 10 in the morning on Friday. So the Philly show is tomorrow on Saturday. However, Dustin, the sports car dad, you may have heard of him, will be in town within the next two hours. I'm going to vlog some of his visit. It's going to be chopped up into two parts probably when I edit. It may be just one long vlog depending on how much actual footage I take from the show. Um, but just going to show you... Um, some of his visit here, some of my everyday life, and then we'll sprinkle in the card show throughout. And hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this uh, format, this style of video. We're going to go over here and uh, get things started, see what kind of day we're going to have today. So what we have to do is we got to get this circle, this circle, on this hook. A dog in the background. Ugh, whiff. So hard with the camera in my hand. Boom! Got him the goat. Let's go. Going to be a good day. Now we're hooked into our day. I got to go to the bank, get some cash. Yep. Cash does all the talking at the shows. Going to go pick up some cash. Pick up a couple groceries. Got to be back here before Dustin gets here. Or he'll be coming to a home when nobody's at. And uh, might have to turn his ass back around and go back to North Carolina already back from the bank you might be wondering what is this ridiculous thing on my head we we'll get to that in a minute took out five grand 5k see what kind of damage i can do with that at the show um i don't know if i plan on spending it all but we'll see what pops up maybe i'll find that willie mays card i've been looking for but dustin's on his way almost here he's never been to my house before so what i'm going to do is when he pulls up in the driveway is i'm going to go out there like this And see if he recognizes that it's me. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to act like it's not me and see if he goes to leave or see if he uh, actually, I guess I have to disguise my voice, but we'll see what happens. Welcome into my, it's my outdoor pool house. Got a couple things to do before Dustin gets here. One of them is I got to check the pH in my hot tub. No Sasha tea jokes. Uh, and myself. Not ashamed to check the own pH levels in my hot tub or my pool. We're sitting at a toasty 104. You can see that right there. Got to get, uh, let's see here. Not a professional. Not a professional. Going to check these levels here. Alkalinity is a little low, so I'm going to have to add a little bit of an alkaline booster. Who would have thought? Sports card channel here, talking about flipping sports cards and card shows. And uh, I'm here checking chemical levels in my hot tub. Who would have thought? All right, so Dustin just texted that he's about five minutes away. So I'm going to put on the mask and we're going to get ready for him to come. I have no idea why I'm whispering, uh, but I am. So keep it a secret. I'm going to go out there and uh, act like I don't know who he is. Here we go. He just pulled up. Hey, man, no trespassing. Keep off the lawn. Who are you? On? Yeah, so I brought Dustin out to one of the local areas here. You can probably hear him talking on the other side as he's about to film. Got, got some lunch, got some food. Um, got his first uh, orange crush, crab cake sandwich. He's going to show you what he's got here. Hey, Dustin, tell the people what you got here. All right, my orange crush is gone, so I ordered a second orange crush. I mean, I'm in Delaware slash mm -hmm. Maryland area, so I had to get crab cake, a crab cake sandwich. I've got some chips or whatever and a pickle spear, so I'm, I'm ready to roll. Yeah, so he's got the crab cake. We all got the orange crushes going on. That's what you got to get when you're in the beach area around here. If you couldn't hear him, because I don't have a microphone, but yeah, <laughs> we're about to chow down. So we're about to hit a vintage toy store. I can't get Dustin to come down here into the water with me. But you guys know I do that. I do that for my viewers, but I can't get Dustin to do it. It's a little too cold wow, man. It's like for him. In there. Oh, it's not that bad. It's therapeutic. One of the last places that I'm bringing Dustin, as you can see behind me, is yesterday's fun. If you recall all the way back to my live stream where I got in the ocean in December and was freezing my buns off and things like that. This is the toy store that I came to and bought the Star Wars action figures, uh, the vintage items. So we're gonna go in here uh, and take a look around at some of the stuff that they have. Rocky action figures are cool. Like, mm. they would go cool in like my movie room. Mm -hmm. Just to set them up, even if I set them up loose. Yeah. Neat. 
Brought Dustin to the hideout. It's a 80s retro arcade restaurant bar. All that all in one. Some of the decor in here. This is a cool Slimer. This is a cool place to come hang out. Some pinball, some darts. One of the 50 cool things in this place. Yeah, we got Boba Fett standing guard at the door. <laughs> focus. All over at level three. Don't lose focus. Waking up, getting ready for the show. It's about 6.30. The long day yesterday after Dustin came into town, showed him around, did lots of stuff in my area, and um, got to bed pretty late last night for myself, uh, probably one or two in the morning before I finally fell asleep. But I'm up, six o'clock. I'm gonna get out of here by seven. Uh, still waiting for Dustin to get dressed. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna uh, take uh, to the show with me as far as cards go. Got the, uh, the V8 Energy, waiting for that to kick in. I'm not gonna go through this whole thing. You can see I got the, the Jordan Love Contenders playoff ticket out of 99 PSA 10. Maybe I can get something out of that today with some buzz coming around the Aaron Rodgers trade. Um, it's another uh, good one here. I've seen uh, Trey Lance stuff is just starting to go up a little bit. Maybe find somebody at a trade night who's interested in that. This is stuff that I really don't want to sit on very long. Got some bigger heavy hitters over here. Uh, the Dan Marino Auto Plate Patch. National Treasures, one of one. Possibly move that today. Not my favorite Dan Marino card in my collection. Um, it's taking lots of different stuff. Another card. I wouldn't mind seeing if I could get some value out of be the, the Jerry West Elgin Baylor dual auto. Just a couple things and riffle through here. Going to Philly should easily be able to move the uh, the Dr. J game used auto and uh, the Dirk Nowitzki the Shaq auto here. Uh, the Charles Barkley which I put in my PC but if if someone really wants to reach for this, being that we're in Philly, might be a possibility. But right now, this is a card that is in my PC, but not necessarily off limits. Uh, just some stuff. You've probably seen a lot of this stuff, stuff in a recent uh, mail day. Uh, and uh, we'll see what I come away with from Philly. We're at the show, about a two-hour drive. It's absolutely packed. We're parked way in the back and have a long walk to the venue. And it's drizzling, raining a little bit. Uh, it's about quarter after nine. Show opened at nine, so already a packed parking lot here. The goal going in is to come away maybe a nice vintage card, maybe the maybe a Willie Mays card, one of the ones I've been looking for. Um, Hall of Fame on card autos, maybe some young quarterback stuff if the deals are still right. Some stuff is already starting to go up, so it's going to have to be for the right price. Um, and just random stuff. I'm just looking to any, you know any deal I'm looking to buy. If the price is right doesn't necessarily matter what the card is especially if it's something i'm just looking to uh flip in the short term so let's how things go i'm in the show and here's the first situation dustin had gotten us free media passes which is awesome and all that but there's a will call window that's got an, a line for it it's at least 30 minutes long to get those passes so i just came to the regular entrance and paid 15 bucks to get in and got right through so $15 to me wasn't worth waiting another 30 plus minutes to get in here. He's gonna wait, so I'll meet up with him later. But yeah, I'm just ready to get into the show. Very big show floor, a lot roomier than the old venue at the Valley Forge uh, Casino. Doesn't seem too crowded. I don't think it's because of lack of people as much as it is, you know, how spread out the floor is. You got a lot of space to walk. Here's some vintage. I've already seen a really nice Willie Mays. Actually, a couple, but some are really high priced. There's a Willie Mays card up there that's very fair. I'm trying to negotiate the guy down. He wanted 5,000. I want to pay 4,000 cash, but we're talking. I'm going to go back and check in on him. He came down a little bit. I came up a little bit, but we still were never uh, able to find any middle ground. So we'll see how this works out. Dustin just wandered off. Don't know why. We need a leash for him. But um, we're going to walk over here. So there's a card that I saw up front, and we couldn't quite come to a deal with it with the dealer. But as I've made a lap around the show and looked at prices of similar cards, I think I'm going to go back up there and go ahead and get this. Um, it's going to be a big chunk of change. There's two cards that I've really found at the show so far today that I like. The other card is a Magic Johnson Exquisite Patch Auto. 
guy wants two grand, two grand for that, but I'm gonna go back there and see if I can trade into that with some of my lower end Hall of Fame autos. And then I'm gonna go see right now if I can get this Willie Mays car. Lunch break, got some Philly cheesesteaks here. Dustin, Neo, in reverse order. Talk about the cards? I am. Oh, that was like the test Yeah, run. guys, we're going to oh. talk about the cards. That, you know, I'm like, what the fuck was that? What kind of video is that? That's just all right. Recorded. We can cuss on my videos. Um, got the pickups from the show. It's only two. I'm going to show them now because they're going to go off to grading. Going to BGS is going to be the Magic Johnson Exquisite. We'd say five color patch here on my channel. You guys let me know in the comments what you think it is. This is out of 25. And big pickup for the PC currently. 1.5 SGC. Willie Mays 1951 Bowman rookie card. And I'm going to get this one reholdered. As you can see, it's the old school slab. And this one, we're hoping to get an eight or better. And yeah, things will be good if that happens. We're sitting here at the SGC booth at the show. Um, resubmitting the, or reholdering the, the Willie Mays. Willie Mays is submitted at SGC. Now I got to make a beeline over to BGS. There's only like 20 minutes left before the show closes. And I want to get this uh, Magic Johnson exquisite card. Uh, over there and hopefully we get that uh, eight or better that we're looking for down here submitting the Magic Johnson to Beckett having a conversation with the BGS guys pretty funny but as you can see this is all handheld um, or filled out on paper uh, handwritten or as you saw back at the SGC booth we were using little uh, tablets and laptops to submit our cards um, so you know but still getting it done old school new school doesn't matter we're gonna get a good grade on this think positive and I uh, can't wait to get it back I'll also run down the price for you guys real quick. As you see, it's 140 for the five business day turnaround, $5 for the autograph. Insurance and shipping fees comes up to 219 to get the card back with the auto autograph grade and subgrades within five business days. So that's what you're looking at here as far as the promotion uh, with a little bit of a discount here at the Philly show. The SGC, you saw the service fee was 75 bucks, and then the shipping fee was 25 It came out to 100 and they had a uh, promo discount down there where they give me 10 or so, 15, fit, close to 15% off, which then, uh, you know, I end up paying 89 bucks for the reholder on the Willie Mays. And that also is a three to five day business turnaround. So now we're in the trade night. Decent crowd coming in. I've lost Neo and Dustin. The first thing I've noticed about the trade night is the lack of chairs. Lots of tables in here, but nowhere to sit. Kind of reminding me of the National where you just carried your case around and pulled up on the floor or whatever. Here in the empty lobby. No highlights from trade night. Lots of people interested in the Jordan Love stuff. Dirk Nowitzki Auto got some interest, but people just not willing to give give much up to be honest even on fair comps at this trade night at least um so almost had the jordan love contenders moved but we were just a little bit off fair offer fair price on both ends but it just didn't happen i uh, headed back to delaware and yeah really no highlight from the trade night to talk about to wrap this up by recapping the show as quickly as possible um super fun show it was really crowded Parking got a little bad, to be fair, at the Expo Center. There was a bunch of different events going on. A hot tub expo, a reptile expo, a dance competition, um, a pet expo, and the card show. They all had to share the same parking. So at times, parking was very congested. We got there early at quarter after nine, had to walk a long way. When we left for lunch, um, there was people looking for parking spots, waiting for people to move and things like that. When we got back, the show was almost over, only like 45 minutes left. So parking uh, was able to be found by then and for the trade night. So parking was bad throughout the day, but the show did get absolutely packed, which is a good thing. I spent most of my time between <clears throat> three vendors, vintage vendors, trying to pick out the right card that I was looking for. So I kind of had blinders on to a lot of other things going on as far as what other cards were popular. I do know young quarterbacks had that, uh, had that buzz going on already, which I predicted would happen by the national. So I had some of that stuff. I only had two pickups. Um, one was the 1951 Bowman Willie Mays rookie card in an SGC 1.5. Um, I paid cash for that one. Uh, you'll see the picture up here. I'll show you the card. I'll show you the cash. Don't have to get into the exact amount, but I feel like I got a good deal. Um, and then the other card I picked up was a 2006 Upper Deck Exquisite patch, game used patch auto of Magic Johnson numbered out of 25. Also looked really good. 
I traded six cards for this, six lower end cards, which included like three Jordan Loves, a Kyler Murray card, a lower end Magic Johnson, a Dr. J card. There is the photo of that deal also up here over my shoulder. So only two cards that I pick up did not come home with either card because PSA, BGS, and SGC were all there taking grading submissions. And I left the Willie Mays with SGC to get the reholder into the new holder from the old holder that they used to have. And I sent the Magic Johnson with BGS to get graded. Hopefully it gets an eight or better because sevens in that card sell for the 2K plus mark. So hoping to get an eight or better on that. And it did look good. Uh, ran into uh, some of the viewers and other content creators um, out there. Of course, I was with Dustin and Neo. Uh, ran into um, Ryan from Breakout Cards. We basically talked about music cards the whole time that we were chatting. He's one person that I can talk about the music stuff with and the oddball stuff because he likes that as well. Uh, sports card investigator who I had never met. Um, maybe I make it into his video. <clears throat> and lots of you guys who came up to me. Um, hung out with, with uh, people who view the channel. Also, the Toy Store Cards, who watches the, um, the, the the channel and had a setup at the table, told me that he was doing well. Um, would like to thank him for being gracious enough to let me store my mini Zion case behind his table at times when I didn't feel like carrying it. So thank you for that. Also, I uh, hung out with him at trade night. Speaking of trade night, didn't get any deals done. Had lots of interest. Uh, people approach you too much, or at this trade night anyway, um, thinking that they're going to get dealer comps. Okay. Um, <clears throat> If you come up to me at a trade night and you want one of my cards, the dealer rules are out the window, okay? You're not getting my cards for 60 to 70% comp. That's just not the way that it works at a trade night. If you're a dealer and I come up to your table and you have overhead and things like that, I understand that. But when you approach me and you want a table or a card that I have set out in front of me on a trade night and ask me how much it is and... You know, I'm giving you a fair price. I'm not going to be like, oh, you can have it for 60%. So didn't get much done at the trade night because that kind of seemed like what people wanted. Like people thought that because dealers get that type of uh, price that they could that, that could happen at a trade night. And it's just not going to happen. I would rather just move those cards online or whatever and get full value out of them, um, you know, on the secondary market. And, you know, it was a two-hour drive there, two-hour drive back. Dustin was at the house for two nights. We had a blast. You guys saw some of that footage. And that's really going to kind of wrap it up. I mean, everybody knows uh, Philly is heavy vintage, and it was about 30, 35% vintage. Um, and I didn't see a lot of other cards uh, really transaction taking place. Doesn't mean that they weren't taking place. I was just very focused on what I was there to do for once. Usually I did browse all the tables, but I didn't spend a lot of time. Usually I go and walk the floor, the entire floor, three or four times during a show and look in and out of showcases like constantly and look for deals and see what's going on. Just very focused on what I had set out to do. And my goal was to finally get a Willie Mays rookie or a 52 tops. I accomplished that. Didn't notice a lot of other stuff going on around me. Sorry. I wish I could. I wish I could say, Hey, I was, I was seeing Lucas and Tom Brady's and Patrick Mahomes and all this um, being bought, uh, traded and sold and things like that. But uh, and, and it may well be the case, but I was very, very focused on myself for once. And um, I got my deals done that I wanted. Two cards. When they come in the mail, I'll show you guys. Okay, my wrap-up's taking too long, so we're going to go ahead and end it here. Make sure you like and subscribe on your way out. We're going to be working towards the national giveaway now, guys. So keep up with the content and, and get yourself prepared for when that goes down. And I'll see you next time.